everybody, welcome to a special unboxing. Uh, I've got a Takashi Morikami uh, collectible trading card box. Don't ask me why I bought this. I like Japanese art. I have an app called Network that has like street art, different toys, different pieces of art, vinyl figures and everything. Um, there are some pieces on here that I thought were pretty interesting. Um, this is in celebration of his uh, Kyoto art show, I think. Um, thought it'd be interesting and yeah, something for my channel because I open up boxes of cards and this seemed semi-obscure and thought maybe people would be interested in this. So let's dive into this thing. So yeah, it looks like you get, what does it say? 12 packs of five cards in each pack, which is kind of standard. I want to say I spent a fair amount on these. And yeah, it looks like it's got your standard Japanese trading card hanger tags, um, which if you watch my channel, you'll know that I bought some Bandai cards that had that. And please tell me there's not 108 cards in here in this set. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so yeah, this was, pr this was actually pretty pricey. I wanna say this was in the $60 price range shipped. Granted, it's imported, um, but there's, yeah, 108 cards, which is crazy to me. So there's eight, 82 commons, 16 rares, four SRs, and then, I mean, you can do the math. These amount of SAs and URs. So let's go ahead and dive into these. I'm hoping these are fairly exciting. Um, yeah, okay. So they're like, I wish there was more to the back. These are pictures of his art and sculpture, which is fun. So yeah, interesting art. I'm all for interesting art and modern art and all that kind of stuff, so right on my alley. I cannot read that. Even if I read Japanese, I couldn't read it. It's so tiny. Interesting. So where does it say the rarity types? Yeah, C. Okay, so common, common, common. And then I'm going to guess, no, nope, that's a common. That's just shiny. Is there parallels in this? Interesting. Whoa, that's cool. I want to say this is a fairly famous Japanese artist. That looks familiar to me. These are fairly good quality cards too. I mean, definitely have to break out the Google Translate because there's a lot of text. I do think this is a cool series, like having different artists' cards. Um, Please tell me this isn't a parallel with the gold. But so far I have not gotten a higher rarity type from what I can tell. Oh, I did get a rare. The next one's a rare. Wonder why. Why is this a rare? Oh, is it? Oh, it's part of a, like a, it's part of a panorama. See that? So there's one, two, three, four, maybe four cards. Did I get another one? Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, so I got another rare, so that's... <laughs> I can never escape puzzle piece cards. Interesting. That's cool. Cool Sasquatch looking guy. That's fun. Not sure what this... 
Oh, is this another part of a little, another part of a big ass painting? I just wish the back had more. I don't know more of what. Hm. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. That's a rare. I wonder why that's a rare. Clone XX, my lonesome cowboy cyborg. That's cool. Oh, here's that, okay, here's another like, gosh, wow, that's cool. Interesting, I'm appreciating this person's art a lot more. Hopefully this exposes some people to his art as well. Check it out. Definitely some interesting stuff. Again, it's a rare card. I'm guessing I'm gonna get one ultra rare. Trading cards, so more trading cards? Or is, oh, is this, oh, this is like a checklist. One to 36. So yeah, okay, that's cool. I don't know. Please tell me these aren't like MFTs. These might be MF, MF, oh, NF, no. I don't know what I'm talking about. Army of Mushrooms, wow. I wish I could get closer, but my camera just won't zoom in. There we go. Sorry, my phone, I'm using my phone to record, not a camera. You are. Okay. What's the rarity? I forget. Okay, you are is pretty rare. Ultra rare. So maybe there's three of them? Nice. Whoa, cool. Where's that figure? What are these? These, like, They are figures. I'll have to look that up. Hmm. And I got another. This isn't a. Yeah, this. Are, these aren't. This isn't a checklist of the trading cards. Some other trading cards. Huh. Weird. I'm gonna jinx myself, but I have not gotten a dupe yet. Whoa, that's crazy. Can't really see all the, wow, very tiny. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, hmm. I almost wish these cars were just a bit bigger. Yeah, 
so this is a little part of that big painting. Very cool. Hmm. Yeah, didn't really know what I was getting into buying these, but now I'm, I'm glad I did. All right, moving along. I think uh, not a lot of packs left here. Yeah, there's the <laughs> there's this big uh, filler piece that was thrown in there. I got uh, four packs only left. Lots of cool cards. I definitely would, if I saw this somewhere cheaper, I would definitely buy another box because it'd be nice to get at least a full set of the commons. Whoa, that's cool. I wonder what they figured to determine what's a rare versus a common versus, you know, ultra rare. Whoa, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. Cool, I got another puzzle piece. So I'm missing one from this. Whoa, that's cool. Hm. Love the gold foil. All right, penultimate pack. I think I'm starting to get dupes, unfortunately, because this one looks familiar. Yeah, why are these rare? Weird. What's with like all the text? All right, final pack. Let's get something crazy good. <laughs> Whoa, crazy. mushrooms all right final card this is self-portrait wow so there you have it that's the takashi murakami minoke kyoto trading cards um i think celebrating something <laughs> um so yeah i hope you liked those let me know your favorite piece of art and which favorite card you had it's really hard for me to choose right now that I'm looking at these stacks here. But yeah, um, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.